If there was ever a time in our history that the American people could seriously benefit from an understanding of weaponized psychology, it is right now. There are people out there who actually support the strikers that are holding the country hostage. Now, irony of all ironies, the one thing that these strikers are dead set against is the very thing they're going to bring about by their actions. And this is what occurs when people aren't using logic. They're using sheer emotions to drive their everyday activities while believing their thinking. And this has been the hallmark of what we have tried to teach over at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. Now, as always, I want to lead off with gratitude. Thank you to everyone who continues to join us over there at the Patreon channel right here at the first of the month. Great time to join. Excellent time to join so that you know every month. Well, how much does it cost, Maquis? Things are tight. One dollar. Wait, Florida Maquis, nothing costs one dollar. Yep. One U.S. dollar per month to get read in on how you can identify these weaponized psychology tactics. It's what I was taught in the military. They didn't let everybody do it, but I thought if I could bring it to more people, more people could understand what's going on. Now, if you want to pay less than a dollar a month, you can do that and still get the exact same benefits. Just sign up for a whole year. You get a discount. There's a 1, 5, 10, and 15 level over there based on demand. People have signed up at those levels. God bless every one of you for doing it. You have no idea how much it helps. I really wish I had better words to express the gratitude in my heart for what you guys have done keeping the channel going. Now, what's the big story? What, what's the big twist? What are they bringing about? Well, I thought this picture would be a perfect thing to bring up because one of the things that the protesters, the strikers, want is a promise of no future automation, but one of the arguments for automation is that robots can't go on strike. So by being on strike, they are literally making the case for automation. There's no better way to make the case for automating the ports and bringing in robots than to go on strike. But they're actually going on strike to get us some future promise that's not going to happen. Now, this is something that I'm sure a lot of people didn't have on their bingo card. It doesn't really affect Florida. Wait, Florida Maki, hold on. I saw pictures. Florida has ports. This has to be affecting you. In a small way, it is. I'm sure a lot of you have seen the maps. Uh, likely impacted by ports by potential ILA strike. Boston, Newark, Philadelphia, Baltimore, Hampton Roads. Oh, look, Jacksonville, Miami, and Tampa. So Florida, Maki, how can you say you're not affected in Florida? Okay, Jacksonville, Miami, and Tampa. That's a total of three. Here are all of the major ports in Florida. There are 13 active to inactive. Three out of those 13, Tampa, Miami, Jacksonville, are partially staffed by this union. The others are not. Port of Fernandina, Port Canaveral, Fort Pierce, Palm Beach, Panama City, Port Manatee, all non-union. All non-union, so when there are shortages on the East Coast, guess where they aren't going to be? Here. That's right. So while everybody up the East Coast, all these these liberal Democrats who think unions are so freaking fantastic, you're going to see shortages all across the Midwest. And even to maybe parts of the Southeast, but here in Florida, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. See, this guy's... The exact things, the exact thing that union was unions were created, pardon me, to get away from. This guy is the exact embodiment of, let's see if I can speak English today. He's holding the American people hostage. Now, he loves to go out, just like Tim Wallace does, by the way, loves to go out 
you know, sit there, he's got his hat, and he's got his goatee, and he's got his sweatshirt on, his his his, his, his jeans, and he's got his hands, his, he's just a working fella, he's just a working fella, just like you, yeah, except for the fact that he earns $728,000 last year, just as the ILA president, he gets another $173,000 bonus salary as being the president of a local union branch, and that brings him up just over $900,000, drives a Bentley, and recently things have gotten so bad, boo, he had to sell his 76-foot yacht, The Obsession. This is his house. He has a garage that's bigger than most people's entire houses that he just uses for his cars. His spread has a uh, giant pool house. It's got a guest house. Massive, massive structure. Meanwhile, meanwhile, here in the state of Florida, the governor, the governor who, oh, by the way, only makes about 140 ish thousand dollars. Wait, what? Florida, hold on. That's right. The governor of Florida, his salary is about $140,000. And the people that he's shaking hands with here, not the National Guard, not FEMA, not federal troops. Nope. This is the Florida State Guard. It is a military force that we have stood up that cannot be called up by the feds and answers only to the governor of the state of Florida. And they have been instrumental in alleviating so many issues across the state. They really don't get a lot of headlines and they like it that way. That's the hallmark of a real good militia that it stays under the radar and just does the hard work nobody else wants to do. This is the last issue with Aline. Look, we, we know in Florida that what happened up in the Carolinas is in Georgia is uh, by scope much greater, but we definitely have some heavy lift to do here in Florida to get things back up and running. And we have our own private-ish, I guess, military to get that done. Never been more proud to be a Floridian. And just for those of you who are into the minutia in Florida, yes, the Florida House did okay raising the governor's salary by more than $100,000, but that won't take uh, effect until long after Governor DeSantis is gone. And it's incremental. Right now, we're the technically the third largest state. California is ahead of us. Texas is ahead of us. And then we're in third place, but our governor's salary is not even in the top top 10. Because it's still a servant thing. Oh, by the way, governor of Illinois, $3.6 billion net worth. Kathy Hockel of New York is the highest paid governor in the land at a quarter of a million dollars, $220,000 a year. But as we know, these liberals all get kickbacks and all sorts of other different things. So just wanted to share this little tidbit of information that Florida is not going to be participating in this East Coast worker strike. And we're not going to run out of bananas. We're not going to run out of toilet paper. We're not going to you know, run out of all these different things because the vast majority of our ports, the vast majority of our ports are going to be open because we haven't bent the knee to the big liberal unions. But once again, would love to have your support on Patreon, believe me, it's it's not eight videos or ten videos or you know one little group of pictures. There are hundreds of videos. Most of the videos are between twenty and thirty minutes long over there. They're not just little five or six or eight minute blurbs. They're twenty to thirty minutes, and they deep dive into weaponized psychology and how it works and why it works. It works every time it's tried when it is run on people that don't understand how it works. There are a lot of folks out there that think, I am immune to it. I have control of my mind. That's the attitude they're looking for. That's exactly the target they're looking for. And this is a, the proof. All of these strikers are now acting and behaving in a way that everyone who is pro-automation wants them to. 
See, they think they're striking, and they're going to get some kind of a concession that there will never be any automation in the future when literally automation is the answer to this. This is what people are going to say. Look, we can't have this little tiny group of people hold the whole country, other than Florida, hostage for a few extra bucks in their paycheck. We can never have that be the case. It's too, it's too serious. It's too critical. could cost people's lives, especially now with what we see going on in the Carolinas. We can't have this. We need more automation. Not saying no people, but fewer. See, if you don't want to get rid of the unions, I guess robots can't unionize, can they? Robots can't unionize. And while we have a certain level of automation here in Florida, we have the real solution. The real solution, believe it or not, in this particular case, isn't necessarily the free market. But it's the idea that there are certain things, like port work, that cannot be held hostage by profit motive. And I know that's a very her heretical thing to say to a lot of capitalists out there in my audience. Our ports are not held hostage by profit motive. The well-being of all Floridians supersedes any worker's particular contract. Now, should that be the case with every single job in the world? No. But with these jobs, yeah. Doesn't make you a hypocrite, just makes you someone with horse sense. Unlike this guy. Of course, they knew. This is why they get those jobs. Giant gold chain around his neck. Big inky tattoos on his giant... Well, I better not say something I want to say, but... Doesn't look like he's missed too many meals, that's all I'm going to say. Probably needed a 76-foot yacht, anything else might have sank. Probably giant French double doors and... Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get in trouble if I keep going. I know it. I know I am, so... God bless Governor Santis. God bless Florida State Guard. Never been prouder to live here. God bless all y'all. Very much appreciate it. Join us on Patreon. I know I've said it three times, but believe me, these days it's more important than ever. And final thought, fully refundable. If it's not for you, fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. It's already the early October. It would be next year. It would be next year. You could go through all of October, all of November, all through December. Before you decided, you know, Florida Maki, I pledged my dollar a month for the last three months. It's just not for me. I've watched 100 videos and it's just not for me. Can I have my $3 back? Sure. Absolutely. Not a problem. Right back at you. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.